Now, these rules are in effect despite the governor's vaccine ban on uh, passport, uh, bas ban on passport of vaccines, which the state will start enforcing next week. Uh, this complicates things for the cruise lines, which is why one company actually went to court. They sued over the governor's rules. So bottom line, where do things stand right now and, and how did we get here? Our McKenna King tonight with the very latest on the legal battle that could reshape the entire cruise ship industry. There's been a lot of back and forth. The state of Florida sued the CDC over their no sale order turned conditional sailing order back in April. Their argument that the agency was overstepping its bounds and making cruising next to impossible for the industry. The CDC was forcing cruise lines to require 95% of passengers be vaccinated against COVID-19, among a list of other requirements. After several hearings, a federal judge issued an injunction, turning the CDC's requirements into recommendations for ships departing from Florida. Which brings us to where we are today. Cruise ships are setting sail from the Sunshine State, but the battle isn't over. Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill earlier this year banning vaccine passports for businesses. So the issue now is cruise ships are having to find a balance between following Florida law and following requirements for other destinations they sail to. The Bahamas have instituted a requirement for demonstration of proof of a vaccine that places an even greater onus upon the cruise industry. Several cruise lines are now going against Florida's ban and requiring proof of vaccination in order to sail to their international destinations, which could result in fines from the state. Where does the line start when a state can tell a private company what it can or cannot do to protect the interests of its business, its employees, and its customers. Wolfson believes these questions will likely be determined by a judge in court. In the midst of a pandemic, when there are questions about who really has the greatest interest in protecting whose other's interest, that's a question that's going to be posed. Starting September 16th, the state of Florida is set to start fining businesses who require proof of COVID-19 vaccination. The law threatens fines of up to $5,000 per incident, and in the case of a cruise ship, that could mean fines for the cruise line for every passenger. In Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.